Tiana Douglas. This is actually my show, so thank you all for coming out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so happy that you came and shared your night with me. I have a hilarious lineup of comedians. The first comedian that I have coming up, I need y'all to show him a lot of love because he drove all the way down from Jersey, so I need y'all to sound like arena when I bring him up. DJ, you got his music. All right, y'all ready for y'all first comedian? Yeah. I said, if you ready for your first comedian, let me hear you say, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Coming to the stage all the way from New Jersey. I need y'all to put your hands together and start clapping right now, start clapping right now, start clapping right now. Give it up for Will Ryan. How y'all doing? Keep it clapping, keep it that. Come on, get some energy in this bitch. We gonna have some fun. Can we have some fun? Can I start the show off right? I like this song. Anybody like this song? You good, baby? How you? I just wanna make sure all the drug dealer niggas in the building first. It's, it's, you know, I'm in the hood. I just wanna, I wanna check in. That's all I wanna do. I just love this shit. This is some real shit. I just love this song. Used to be sleeping on itchy beds. Bad bugs in the motel. Now these bitches give me head. What? 20 bitches in the motel. On the Roman noodle diet. Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. I don't give a fuck with nobody. See, that's the realest song of all times. Used to be sleeping on itchy beds. Y'all niggas ain't never slept on an itchy bed? Come on, come on. Y'all gonna act like that. Don't don't lie like that. Y'all niggas have slept on some itchy beds. You ain't never spent night with your cousin house that peed in the bed? Now your leg get you. <laughs> My mama told me not to sleep with your ass. On a Roman noodle die. Ugh. That's some good shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Did y'all know chicken is not the original flavor of oodles and noodles? They have original flavor. It's called original. I was like, what the fuck do that taste like? But I'm a hip hop head. Any hip hop heads in here, clap it up if you like hip hop. Okay, let me see. Let's separate these niggas. Any new school hip hop head like myself? Okay, it's, it's two and a half of us. Okay, don't worry about it. I don't need no friends. What, what about old school hip hop is that? Well, old school hip hop head. Y'all like that old school shit? Give it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate y'all. Fuck y'all. Y'all some hypocrites like a motherfucker. I hate the shit out of them old school raps, man. Y'all, this is the thing. Why y'all don't, don't fuck with our music? Because y'all understand what the fuck they saying. I get it. But the shit feel good. I don't know why. You're a hippie, dude. Hippie. Like, oh shit. <laughs> I understand. But this is the thing. Y'all had songs we knew the words, but we don't understand what the fuck they were saying. Like, Prime said, what the fuck is a hip hop? The hippie to the hippie to the hip hip hop. You don't stop the rock. To the bang bang boogie, the up jumps the boogie, to the rhythm of the boogie to me. What the, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck is a hippie to me? First of all, I didn't learn that in school. What the fuck is a hippie to me? This is the thing. The nigga that was rapping the song knew he said some bullshit. Because right after that, he turned around and said, What you hear is not a test. I'm just rapping to the beat. Uh, bitch, is that not a disclaimer? I know a disclaimer when I hear one. It's like, yo, I just said some bullshit. And I might say some more. Then he turned around and said, oh, Scooby Doo Bop, Scooby Bop, Scooby Doo. Or guess what? America, we love you. What? <laughs> so that's what the fuck. So Scooby Doo is not the nigga I took a nap. When I, I watched before I took my nap. That's what Scooby do not. I ain't gonna front. I feel like we should learn that shit in school though. I ain't gonna front. Like you should, they should have put that shit right after the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag and I Scooby Doo Bop, Scooby Bop, Scooby Doo. I uh, guess what? America, we love you. Rah! I don't know what the raw shit was from back in the day, but they did that shit for everything. The fuck was? Uh, 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 and everybody. The fuck is that? That's borderline retarded. I don't know fuck nobody said. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Y'all like my little pink out sound you Thank you, baby. My stomach was hurting earlier, so I wear my pet no bismol outfit. <laughs> so fuck it. I'm gonna look good tonight, bitch. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> this pink shit. I hope no nigga try to rob me with this shit on. <laughs> this, look is, this is a safe ass outfit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Cops come in, walk right past him. He ain't doing shit. He a bitch. All right, thank you, officer. <laughs> I just thought of that. That's why I laughed. But I'm a parent. If you're a parent, clap it up. Clap it up. You love your kids. 
Anybody here like just sometimes be like, man, fuck y'all. You ain't like want to punch one of your kids in the fucking face. Any good dads in here? If you're a good dad, clap it up. Okay, it's about three, five, six. Let's get a little louder. Like, that ain't gonna fuck. Like, I love being a dad. The shit that, that fucked me up about being a dad is the fucking word daddy. Like, daddy is the most annoying shit about being a dad. Because you hear the shit like this. Daddy, 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 daddy. I got mad as shit one day. Daddy, daddy. Shut the fuck up. My name is William. You better not call me that shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. I don't know. You can't call black parents by their real name. They'll fuck you up. I don't know what it is. But I love being a dad. Like, the shit that be messing with me is like, uh, like the kids' report cards. Like, out here, did, they, did the letters change for the kids, like, in the lower grade? Like, kindergarten to, like, the second grade? Did they still get, like, A, B, C's, and D's and shit out here? The letters change, right? Like, I remember we used to get A, B, C's, D, and then the F. My daughter came home with a G. I beat the shit out of her. I said, bitch, how you skip F? You that fucking stupid, you skip F. The fuck is going on with this? <laughs> Then I looked down the report card, she got an ass. I said, you stupid too, bitch, and they gonna put it up there? I beat the shit out of her. Her mother come home to her, oh, my baby may honor her. I said, bitch, go lay down. I'll see where she get that stupid shit from you. <laughs> stupid as shit. She told me, did you read the back of the report card? I know what to read. The back of the report card wasn't nothing but extra credit ass whooping. I know that shit. Remember your mom used to read the back of the report card? I'm like, <laughs> so you can't shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> so you don't work well with others. Okay. <laughs> we don't get along tonight, and I don't want you to shut the fuck up. I'm like, ah, shit. I got a doo doo. I don't know why you get nervous, you got a doo doo. So I read the back of the report card because it actually explains the letters on the back. G stands for good, S stands for satisfaction. But if you want somebody to treat your daddy fucked up, I didn't mean to beat you like that. I beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Find out the truth about your mom. Like, in my eyes, my mom only had three dicks of her. It was my dad and me and my brother sliding the fuck out. That's it. One penetration dick and two out of tracing. That's not a word, but it sounds good right there. <laughs> I made that shit up, all right? Fuck y'all. So in my eyes, my mom did save her whole life. Find out. Find out your mom's nickname used to be Bubbles. Oh. It'll fuck your day up, nigga, for real. <laughs> hey, 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 why, why, why y'all call my mom Bob, Bubbles? Because she was easy to pop. I'm like, fuck you, nigga. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Yo, my name is Comedian Will Wright. Thank y'all for having me. Thank y'all. God bless. I'm on my way to an island and I'm probably shit at the party. Like, you know, niggas be fucking be shot up, but still talking shit like they wild. Niggas be right. Come on, y'all can do better. Give it up, nigga. Niggas and compliments and shit. Soon as he got a pig, y'all like my salmon jacket. <laughs> Nigga, you don't sit your ass the fuck down. Like, come on. Probably fishing for compliments so he could cheat on somebody so he could feel extra confident. That's what they do. That's what I want to say real quick. Like, where, where the relationships at? Any relationships in here? Relationships? Relationships? We got Y'all too? But y'all raised y'all hand real little. Like, y'all didn't. Like, you wanted to say what you didn't want to say because you didn't know who was going to put their hand up first. Like, y'all. Y'all in a relationship or not? Nah? Like, how long has this been going on? We get to know the crowd today. We all family. You know what I mean? How long y'all been together? Two years. Two years? How long y'all been together, sir? I got to ask you because I know it's different than her answer. Right? Two, years. Two years? Is this part of the ship where you don't know? <laughs> God, see this shit. He was like, two years, two years. You got to agree so you can get some ass. Like, I understand. I get it. It's a rainy night. You going to get that ass in the car, too. Get it drunk enough. Having that front seat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that's how white people sound. Like, oh fuck yeah. Right there, plunge that pussy. Why do y'all say stuff like plunge that? Why do y'all say plunge that pussy? I'm just saying cause I watch the porn, y'all porn booty shit. But then y'all keep spinning. Why y'all spit on everything? It's I swear to God, it felt like spit had popped out the screen and on my nose. I, was, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but that shit. I was looking like you. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That ain't even how you sound, though. That fucked you up because you thought it was a for a second. We were having sex. You were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly how the fuck you sound. That's how I said, push that pussy.
Hold on, hold on. good around this motherfucker. You can tell when guys have good sex too because they start singing around the house and shit. Y'all ever notice that? <laughs> they be cleaning this shit or washing dishes or mowing some shit like, you are so beautiful. That shit ain't never been singing. That's how you know he in a good ass fucking mood. Mo you are mowing along so beautiful. <laughs> if your nigga ain't singing, you doing some wrong shit. Like you ain't, you fucking up in the house. <laughs> that's real shit. But that's what I want to know real quick. This is a personal situation, but I want to know because maybe the guys can answer. Why when y'all cheat on somebody and they catch you doing some shit because you ain't open the door? Why y'all guys shut their arms in the window? It's <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just me. He ain't open the door. I I try to go through the fucking window. He gonna shut this shit. I'm calling the police, bitch. Let my arms. <laughs> it hurt in his room. I had to print across my fucking arm. I'm like, look at what he did to me. <laughs> Bitch, you shouldn't have went through the window. Well, the door wasn't open. I was, <laughs> fuck was I supposed to get in? Because <laughs> he had broke up with me. And I feel like if a guy break up with you, like, the same way we have to agree to go together. Bitch, you got to agree to break up with me. Like, we got to... <laughs> This shit gotta be natural. You can't just leave and think you just laugh. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't agree, we still look like both. <laughs> he got mad as shit. Cause, all right. <laughs> Anybody ever have an ex parte or a peace order on them? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this shit was so unfair because I thought, you know, in a relationship when you're going through some stuff, you have a gray area. It's like you go together. You don't, but y'all still fucking, so it's kind of black and white. Like, you think y'all about to go back together around that motherfucker. He broke up with me, and that was it. I was like, oh, hell no, you ain't just gonna break up and that's it. Like, my shit ain't shit. You understand what that mean? That mean this wasn't good. You ain't want that no more, because can't no nigga just leave without hitting it one more time. Hoya, they can't do it. You gotta get the last hoya. He didn't want it. <laughs> Something wrong with the shit. So he got an ex parte and it was like, do not go to his work. Do not go to his house. So I went to the church. I was like, the devil is a liar. We still look at Mahala Moshita. Let no man come between us. Is that what it say in the Bible? <laughs> no. It's a, what it say? It say something. Don't nobody hear anybody here go to church? Clap it up if you go to church. Clap it up if you go to church. I'm trying to get to know y'all a little bit. Cause my mother, she was like into the church really, really heavy, and she brought us up in church. And this is what I couldn't understand. Like when she found out that I had sex, she was like, um, there is no place in heaven for whores. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, so both of us gonna be in hell? <laughs> I know your life. Like, I need you not to judge me. Need you not to judge me. It's so crazy because I, I haven't been going to church lately. But this is kind of what made me feel funny about church because I was born to church and I felt like God was kind of gossip a little bit. Anybody else? Because I was getting prayer and the person that was praying for me was like, come here, come a little closer. I gotta tell you something. God told me to tell you something. And I was like, why is God giving you my message? Why can't he just give me my message straight? Why I got to go through somebody else to get oh, this? This is gossip, man. I can't. What wrong though? Think about it. I'm a person too. Why can't you just give me my message straight? I don't need nobody else knowing nothing about me reading my spirit, knowing the lion, thief, and whore and spirit I am. I, I know what I am. I want God to tell me straight. Anybody else? Anybody drinking in here? Y'all drinking? Who's drinking? Who's drinking? Anybody got a birthday? Any birthdays in here? Where's birthday at? Oh, happy birthday, baby. How old are you? 
Tony, so you look like Tony Braxton or, or like Tamar Braxton. You get that a lot, don't you? Take the wig off. Let me see if you still look oh, the same. Motherfuckers <laughs> change when the wig come on. Take the wig off. Let me see if you still look the same. Huh? Oh, it's glue tight. All right. It's glue real tight. You ain't never had sex with wake up and it's on the side of the bed like the floor. <laughs> that be some bullshit, don't it? You be looking for your shit at the wig can He be like, you looking for this? Bitch, put my wig. <laughs> put my wig down. Ain't nobody got time for this. You play too much. <laughs> put my wig back. <laughs> Alright. Y'all having a good time? Yeah. You ready for your next comedian? Yeah. I need y'all to sound like we in the arena around here. When I call this lady up, it's a lady and I love female comics. I need y'all to give her full energy. Whatever you give to us, we give it back to you. Are you ready for your next comedian? Let me hear you say, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Coming to the stage, my girl, soon to be yours. I need y'all to start clapping right now. Start clapping right now. Start clapping right now. Give it up for Miss Mimi. What's here? So y'all give up yourselves, come out tonight on Saturday. Y'all clap. Come on, y'all. Shit. Hold on, y'all. Y'all ever did some dumb shit in your life and fucking regretted it? Like my little ass right now. I went eight. So I got to pray that I don't shark while I'm up here trying to do this 10 minute set. So everybody pray with me, Lord Heavenly Father, I ask that you pray that I do not shock while I make through this 10-minute comedy in Jesus' name. Fuck y'all. Amen. Okay. God bless y'all. My name is Miss Mimi. How y'all doing? Hey. Come on, y'all got to do more like that. God Come on. Hey. Shit, y'all clap for my back slappers. My back slappers. I had some heels, but I put them over there because like I told y'all, I just ate. So I said, fuck that shit. This ain't nothing but a family reunion. Uh, <laughs> We came together in the goddamn basement. Y'all look good? Yes, I want to stand over there, but they got that goddamn rotisserie light on in this motherfucker. Goddamn, I feel like a chicken slow cooking up this bitch. Y'all feel good? Yeah. Y'all host looking good. Tiana, she brought all the ladies out tonight. We got a hell of a show. I'm going to tell y'all some jokes. I'm going to get the fuck on because I got my kids in the car. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got to wrap this shit up. I got to hurry the fuck up. I got my kids in the car. I can't afford no babysitter. This shit don't pay no bills. This shit don't pay no bills. But if y'all got kids, clap. Clap if you got kids. Okay. Well, I just got one word for them. Fuck them. <laughs> Plain and simple, fuck them. My daughter just turned 20 years old. She was real excited. She's like, Mommy, I'm 20. What we gonna do? Bitch, we gonna pack your shit. Um, <laughs> the fuck you thought? It's time to go, bitch. You gotta take your own dick. You hear me? You gotta take your own dick. She was like, Mommy, why, why, why? I wanna go to college. I said, no, you don't, bitch. You didn't even like high school. Let's just, let's just keep it real. You know, you got to be real with your kids. You got to be honest. So she was like, I'm going to go to college. I said, no, I think you should just sign up and be all the fuck you could be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got housing for you. They got the motherfucking commissary. You got some motherfucking combat boots. Bitch, your benefits will be beneficial. You hear me? You want to go to college? I can't help you because all you're going to do is go, uh, I ain't buying no school supplies. So y'all laughing, but this real shit. I bought her shit I knew she would use, like, um, Players Club. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did. Fuck that shit. Fuck the books. The books was too damn expensive to be buying them fucking books. You know what I'm saying? She ain't gonna read that shit. I bought her some shit she can relate to because, you know, some people got to learn by watching. So I figured if she watch Players Club, she'll get on top of her game plan. You know what I'm saying? So she can go make the money and not let the money make her. <laughs> so to this day, my daughter's now a certified stripper. God bless her. <laughs> Yeah, she did something strange for a little piece of change. I love my baby. She's good. She's good. But um, out of the three kids and the six baby fathers, um, <laughs> I don't know. I felt like judging because I know I ain't the only bitch who did not know who her baby father was. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But out of the three kids and the six baby fathers, I'm kind of concerned that my son might be gay. And it's not that I have anything against the LGBTQYZ community or anything. Um, <laughs> No bullshit, I, like, they have all the letters. Like, bitch, can I buy a vowel? Can I buy a motherfucking vowel? <laughs> Shit! Like, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not mad if he's gonna be gay or nothing because they are a supportive ass fucking community. Like, I'm ready to just jump over the rainbow right now, and I swear to God. <laughs> like, I'm there, borderline there. But I'ma be fucked up if he come home and he look better in his sundress and his wedges, you know what I'm saying? Then I do it my shit. You know, I feel real fucked up because my self-esteem will be bad. So, I'm just saying to everybody that's gay, I haven't had sex in about six months. <laughs> that's not a joke, that's real. So, I'm, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a coach release party over by the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Um, I accept W2s, pay stubs, and EBT cards. Yes. I did, bitch. I said EBT cards for all you that's judging me. Cause I know um it's somebody in here still sucking on unemployed balls. You hear me? Yeah. Let's just keep it real. We're fucking on the other side of Baltimore, bitch. The wire is going down. The wire is going the fuck down. But kids ain't shit like today. This I know I gotta raise my kids up in a different environment. Cause like today I was taking a shower. So my daughter, you know how you peep out, you gotta check on your kids and shit. So this little bitch had the door open. So I'm like, bitch, who are you talking to through the door? So she was like, oh mommy, you know, it's the lady selling magazines. So I was like, lady selling magazines? I was like, all right, well go ahead and close the door. Y'all, God forbid this child came back to the bathroom, she had the little awake magazine. Oh, no. I was like, bitch, that was not the magazine lady. That was the fucking Jehovah Witnesses and shit. Like, bitch, get your Christianity up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you totally just disrespected that lady. She was like, mom, that's the magazine lady. She said the magazines. That old lady was mad as shit. She probably put voodoo all on my door. <laughs> I'm just saying it's real. Everywhere he go, I go. I got job on his job. Just make sure a bitch was on job. I ain't, I ain't no shit about fixing cars. I was like, pop the hood so I can fix the brakes. <laughs> bitch, I'm here. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that's the only risk. That's the only way you can hold on to him. That's real shit. Get a job on his job if you can. Like, my sister's boyfriend is a cab driver. This bitch be in the past just you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bitch, you ever gonna say, I got to work my shift and his shift in. <laughs> you take your ass home. But that shit get real, though. Because back in the day when somebody would cheat, they, you would find out because the chick would call the house phone. Remember we had house phones? Now all the fuck they do is text on my fucking day. Text, 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 text. You, they never got to make a phone call. Am I lying? This is how I figured this shit out. My nigga walking around the house, text, 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 text. <laughs> Who the fuck are we laughing at? <laughs> Share it with me, let me see. He want to turn his phone, uh-uh, bitch, turn it up. We almost broke each other motherfucking head. Bitch, turn the shit. <laughs> I want to laugh too, shit. He tried to be slick and like text his ass to the bed. He texted to the bathroom and shit. So I'm on it, like I trust him, but I got to verify. You love somebody, you trust him, but you got to verify. He take his ass in the bathroom. I'm like, okay, cool. What you doing? He said, I'm taking a shit. I said, all right, nigga, I'll wait. Give me a second. I wait like five minutes, not back in the door. What you doing now? He said, damn, I'm wiping my ass. I, look, I said, let me see. I look under the door. I said, if you wiping your ass, why your feet flat? Your heels should be up. Everybody know that your heels got to be up like this on the ankle. When you wipe your ass, so you don't get shit on your thumb. This part right here, it, I don't know how the hell the shit get right there. Get right there when you. I'm like, come on now, I'm 30. I'm in my 30s. I can't be. And then, like, you really can't believe when it get right here. You and you have a smell of shit. I can't believe this is shit. God damn it, I'm in my 30s. This is embarrassing. Leave out the bathroom, go shake somebody in. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? It's a, Okay, nobody else. It's just me. Okay. Y'all ready for y'all next comedian? Yeah. yeah. All right. I ain't like the way y'all said that. I said, y'all ready for y'all next comedian? Yeah. Coming to the stage, I need y'all to give him a lot of energy. This is the internet favorite right now. He's Baltimore favorite. He's my comedy bro. I need y'all to start clapping right now. Start clapping right now. Start clapping right now. Give it up for Dave Butler. Cut it, DJ. <laughs> I'm gonna get right into it. Fuck it, I hate kids. I think all kids hate a little bit. Like I walked on the street earlier, and this little girl said, Excuse me, sir, I like your shorts. I said, Thank you, little girl. Here go a little hating boyfriend. He said some shit that was clever. He said this nigga. He said this nigga had on some gender reveal pink shorts. <laughs> Damn, y'all, that's I'm glad y'all wasn't that shit. I said, fuck you, little boy, I bought these from your father. And he was like, huh? I said, don't worry about it, you don't know. <laughs> I won. 
Then I, I got him back. Fuck that little nigga. I just don't like kids. But it's not the kids I don't know, it's the kids in my family I don't like me. Like earlier, I had to stop past my mother's house. My nephew had a birthday party. Now, even though he's a child and turned two, they smoke weed. I had to take my shirt off because my license is suspended and I didn't want to smell like weed driving here. So I'm ready to leave and I said, hey, anybody seen my shirt? And I heard a little voice say, is it white? Because that's my, boy, my kid voice. So she's like, is it white? That's a little girl. I don't, I'm not good with, you know, I just don't want to use the same voice. Like, is it white? And it's funny. So just bear with me. So she was like, is it white? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, medium? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, polo? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, nah, nobody ain't seen it. <laughs> She's not even my worst niece, though. That's what's crazy. I got this one niece, right? She started getting sassy, probably about 14 when they get smart with their mothers and shit. So my sister was like, I don't know what to do with her. And I was like, let me take her, you know, cause she a bad parent. So, <laughs> so she was like, I bet you she won't last a week at your house. And I was like, shit, bet bitch. So we made the bet cause I'm competitive. So her third day there, I go to do a show, I come back, I'm wet, like I'm drunk. So I can't find my phone charger. It's like three o'clock in the morning. Now I got a little man cave. So I'm at the basement floor. She at the top floor in our room. I can't find my charger, so I call her. So she get out the bed, come all the way down two flights of steps and say, what you call me for? And I was like, nothing, cause I found my charger. <laughs> so everything was cool. So at the time we were still friends on Facebook. So <laughs> she put, fuck my uncle here, petty ass nigga. And I, I sat up his broke ass. I took his toothbrush and cleaned the toilet bowl out with it. L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L. I'm like, I'm smarter than you. Your dumb ass shouldn't have posted it so fast. I go to the store, buy a toothbrush, come back, and then my phone go off. She tagged me in a post. I ain't gonna take a toothbrush, but now you see what they feel like when somebody make you get up and walk for nothing. Put her ass straight out. Three days. I had to tell her, get this little money to your pussy ass mother. Man. <laughs> but you can learn a lot from kids. Like the other day, I'm watching TV. And I said, you know what? I might as well play Madden. Now me, I don't give a fuck. I put Colin Kaepernick on the Ravens. So I'm playing with the Ravens with Colin Kaepernick. And my niece come in. And she was like, I want to play. I said, cool. So I moved it over to the other team. And she was like, I don't like him. And I was like, who? And she was like, number seven, you know, because she can't read yet, because she dumb. So I was like, why you don't like him? And then she was like, because in that McDonald's commercial, he tried to eat Joe Flacco chicken nuggets. What? So I'm like, that was like three years ago. He won a Super Bowl. He lost a Super Bowl. He got $140 million guaranteed, and this nigga unemployed. You know, and she was like, well, if you lose him, I quit, and threw the remote and left. And what I learned was, old bitches that don't let shit go used to be young bitches that don't let shit go. <laughs> It's a little boy that knock on my mother's door for. I'd be like, my nigga, you do not want these problems. <laughs> you do not. I just don't like kids. They bother me a lot. All the time. It's not me, y'all. It's them. Y'all see every time it happened, I was my. Y'all notice the trend is I'm minding my business? Did you notice the trend? Except for when I tried to help raise somebody else's kid. That don't work. But either way, earlier, I'm going to go pump some gas. At this point in time, it's drizzling. So some little boy about maybe nine years old say, you need to put a raincoat on instead of trying to be cute and shit. So I'm like, whoa. So you gotta watch how you talk to kids. So I said, fuck you little boy, you ain't got your father to be worried about or something. You out here pumping gas, that means you gonna grow up to sell drugs and die you're gonna be 25. Because he was a kid. So then he said, I was just trying to help because my father died from pneumonia. Oh. And I was like, nah, that's what they tell kids when their parents die from AIDS. <laughs> but, but, you're halfway right. He died from not wearing his raincoat. <laughs> that's 
that's a good ass fucking joke. Even if you don't like the context of it, because y'all thought it was over with, right? And it was like, but wait, there's more. I found out the day I used to, I, I, my mother's let me play with a child molester. Damn! They was talking earlier, and she was like, you know, Leon got killed over the jail like five years ago for being a child molester. And I was like, the one you used to let me play football with? And she was like, I was in the window. I'm like, what the fuck you mean you was in the window? And then come to find out he touched eight little boys the same age as me, but never touched me. So I feel ugly. I mean, I'm glad it ain't happening, but you know, sometimes you, it's flattering to turn down advances. Come on with me. I think I was the only dark skinned child. It was the 80s. It was before Tyrese and, and uh, Wesley. It was before Wesley Snipes. I mean, you know, I just it, it, it's, it's just it's crazy now. Watching the news, watching. I don't even really watch the news. I just go and look up shit and then just follow rumors and wait till people say it's not true. Like, did y'all hear about Jennifer Hudson? She cheated on her boyfriend. Well, whatever the fuck he was, shit, stop trying to do it. She cheated on that nigga that used to be on the level of fucking New York and shit. Yeah, cheated on that nigga. He was pissed. He been with her to pick a thing. I heard somebody snork. I call it a laugh gas. If you make a girl snork when she laughs, you might go in and fuck. I think I just got the light. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you just recording yourself. There you go. Tiana got the little titties out and shit. You see that? The one I almost came out. She tried to cover it up. That shit ain't work. You get a little nipple out. You ever notice that skinny girls with kids, they titty shaped like L shoes? <laughs> you got a little swoop. You know, like, like them little slippers them niggas wear that when they be making the snakes move. Little iron chic boot titties. Titties are like a nigga supposed to be wearing them with a solid gold AK-47. <laughs> you know them niggas, they wear the little things on their head? You got nice titties though, so I ain't even talking about you, Andrew Thick. It's just skinny girls, I don't know, that's not my type. Y'all cool, don't get mad if I talk about y'all. Society think y'all beautiful, I just don't. I'm just saying like... <laughs> like one time I had a skinny girl, I had broke up with her because she was skinny. I thought she was going to get thick because I was like, all right, look. She borderline thick, but she's skinny. You know, if I give her penis and pizza, then we lay up for a few months, she'll get nice and thick. But no, she stayed the same size. I broke up with her. She gonna send me a picture, ass naked on all fours. I thought it was a greyhound. <laughs> I said, Santa's a little helper, is that you? <laughs> you watch The Simpsons, don't you? So, um... That was I was getting hit in the house one time. <laughs> and my mother walked in and the girl was like, oh my God, get out of bounds. I'm like, no, you got a cooler sucking dick, not me. <laughs> I'm a hero. <laughs> Cause my nephews knew, it was like, my uncle the shit. You ever fuck a girl in a van and she don't make no noise. So you make her rear with that little armrest. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you make some noise now, won't you? Some of y'all having flashbacks. <laughs> Let me tell y'all a story, right? I'm on my way to the store one day. You ever be in line with somebody and you're next to them, but you're in front of them at the same time? I'm next to a lady that got a patch on her eye on the same side I'm standing on. I'm like, shit, she probably don't even know. <laughs> She said, I'm nigga, next. I'm next. You think you slick. And I feel like casually said, next, and you don't step up. I didn't come to fuck shit. So, <laughs> I said, excuse me, ma'am, I'm next. She said, no, nigga, I'm next. I said, no, no I was man. nice. I'm a, 
I told her, let's go to Lens Crafters. Right now they got a deal. <laughs> Second pair, half off. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> is it wrong to ask a person with scoliosis to come straight back? <laughs> I had a teacher in a wheelchair named Mr. Walker. <laughs> He tried, to, he tried to give me detention for lying. I said, nigga, your name allowed. We're going to sit there together. And he, he used to get mad at me because he was HIV positive, and I used to call him Rolex. <laughs> it's a good joke, because now they got medicine for it. Number one, it used to be a death sentence. I ain't been to an AIDS experiment since like 94, so we doing good. They don't doubt they just get dark skin and good hair. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting this. So I can get more bitches. Huh? Oh, I'm so, oh shit! I didn't even see you. All right. So look. Oh <laughs> Wrap it up or go. All right. <laughs> That's how so many babies born. The nigga asked her the same thing. Wrap it up and go. She said, go. <laughs> all right, well, look. We about to bring you back on stage. God bless all of y'all, and good night. Hey! Get it going for that better. Hey! Y'all better turn up on the stage. Hey, energy boy. Spend the and get it right back. Ass the fuck off stage. Y'all seen y'all seen that shit was going left real quick, buddy. They were like, oh my god. We haven't had a funeral since 94. Why would he make fun of these things? But it is funny. <laughs> that shit was funny though, it really was. That's funny. They ain't talking about all that fucking though. I'm gonna bring it next to me up. But he's so fucking boring faced. I can't even picture his ass having sex. I was, like his sex would be like, oh my god, this is good. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> like nigga. <laughs> like, think about that shit. I had to ask him, I said, yo, when you be fucking? Because you talking about getting all this ass. Who make the first move? <laughs> Cause he barely talk in real life. Like where he said, I let her make the first move just in case I get rejected. <laughs> Guys hate rejection. They hate rejection. I had this guy to throw a bottle at my head because I told him that I had a boyfriend. Like, no, he really did. Like, what's I heard it go. <laughs> All I can say is, ah, how you miss? <laughs> I'm going home to my boyfriend. <laughs> he tried to take a bitch down. God damn, guys hate rejection. And don't be talking about big people, Dave. I love big people. Anybody else like the big fluffy people? I love them. Clap it up. All big people need love too. Nah, that's real shit. Because people underestimate big people. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like it when they sit in your car and shit go. I don't. If you on that one fucking side, you like, bitch, could you lift the car back up so we can pull off? Like, this is. My car back up, I wanna keep going. That's... But I had, I had one big dude in my life, one big dude, and I, I swear, we, we underestimate them. Now, I don't like the lies they tell. The number one lie they tell, they be like, oh my God, but I don't eat a lot. Yes, the fuck you do. <laughs> ain't nobody fat that ain't eating around this motherfucker. Like, that's just real shit. Yes, the fuck you do. And I knew it was the truth because when we was on our way to go date, because you know they always got to take you to eat. So we was on our way to eat, and he wanted to stop at KFC to get some more to eat. <laughs> Why we got to stop to eat on the way to eat around this motherfucker? <laughs> no, really, he was like, nah, I just want to stop there and get one of them little mix. No, I just want to go straight to the destination. We ain't got to eat the whole way. God <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. He was talking about having a fucking threesome and shit. And I was down for it. I was like, fuck it, let me live. I want to live life on the edge. But he wanted to do it with me and Lord Debbie Cakes. He, was, he wanted me to lick one end and he licked the other end. <laughs> 
I like them though, cause he had like y'all don't understand like big guys they don't have little penises and a lot of people do. They don't have that. They got something that's called a peekable dick. You have to push their stomach in. When you push their stomach in, the dick come out. It's like peekaboo. You're like, oh shit, nigga. I did this shit just because I was like, let me see that shit again. I was like, peekaboo. God damn it, nigga, you fool me. <laughs> I liked it though because like it was it was it was like kind of it was alright like he did he did some shit that a little skinny nigga ain't never do like he put my legs up like this and he crossed them all. I call the shit the motherfucker popcorn you think it's old but it ain't no way keep on going he put them up like this bro I was like okay I thought he was like. He was like It was some good shit. <laughs> I didn't explain it good, but I promise. It was like, I, I went and got a skinny dude. I was like, is there any way you know how to do the popcorn? Because <laughs> the peekaboo dick nigga was lovely. <laughs> Just wait till like, all the guys are here, they gonna go there. like, let's try that popcorn move that she was talking about. Put your legs up. She gonna say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Punch that pussy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shit funny to me. Okay, y'all ready for y'all next comedian? Yeah. I didn't like y'all sound like daddy dried up and shit. I'm not bringing nobody up that like that. <laughs> Try one more time. Y'all ready for y'all next comedian? Yeah. Let me hear you say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Coming to the stage, hilarious female comedian. I need y'all to sound like we in the arena. I need y'all to start clapping up. Come on, stop clapping right now, stop clapping. Give it up for Stiletto! Come on, come on, hey! Turn up for Fuyana if you wanted to. Hey. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Ah, where my ladies at? Make the noise. I can get them both, I don't want it to. Oh, then I'm cool. quick, cut a nigga off, so don't get comfortable. Look, uh -huh. I don't dance now. Let my shit play, I'm in the mood. It's Saturday night. around and get pregnant in this bitch. <laughs> That's my shit. I've been these is blood issues. I'm doing shit. I don't even know the dance move. These is blood issues. Ha! I don't know. God damn it, Tiana talking about big people, little tiny ass. You make me sick. I should have kicked you off the stage. I don't appreciate such. I had to get down and I just grabbed him and shook the shit out of him. I said, let me tell you something, little nigga. When I was your age, I was riding a bike downhill towards traffic with no fucking brakes. <laughs> with my whole girl on the handlebars, bitch. OG Bobby Johnson, deuce, deuce. I don't know why I did that part, but it was real. He said, mommy, how'd you stop? I said, stop with my fucking feet. I, ah! Bitch like that. That's a lot of shit going on in the world, but I want you to keep it sexy. You got your man, that's your man, right? That's your boo? Okay, how long you been together? Seven years, seven years, you gotta keep that shit sexy. Take the bonnet off, don't sleep with no scarf, just come to bed, cause we getting a, a rut sometimes, ladies. Put something sexy on, get you some lingerie. Something real sexy. Went and got me a little pink corset, I thought I was Nicki Minaj, bitch, I'm gonna kill this nigga tonight. Asbestos, I'm on the short circuit. The fuck out of here. I lit the candles, I turned on the music, I set the ambiance. That's my sexy shit. <laughs> he came home, he said, baby, where the kids? I said, shh, 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 shh. don't say nothing. <laughs> That's my sexy voice. He was like, why the fuck are you talking like that? Because <laughs> we've been together so long, we can argue and fucking say nothing. Why the fuck are you talking? I said, shh, 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 shh. don't say nothing. Follow me. And I like back skated down the hallway. It's <laughs> my sexy shit. He got in the room, I said, I want you to take off everything. <laughs> That's my Eartha Kitt shit. You know, mock ass. Mm, that's some sexy shit. Before I got it out my mouth, he was naked with his watch and a sock. One time, about you want to suck it here? You want to do it there? No. Shh. Calm down. And then I hit him with, I'll be back. <laughs> I went 
the bathroom, there was my little pink bag. I said, I'm gonna kill him tonight. <laughs> now, I had the shit, one arm was in it. One arm was safely, I don't know how I'm supposed to hold the bike so it don't break up, I'll hold it like that. One arm was safely in the shit, you understand that? The rest of the shit was rolled up under this fat meat right here. <laughs> bitch, I'm rolling around in that bitch, I'm twisting. I done fell in the tub, the toilet shit is fucked up. <laughs> but I don't want to ruin the mood. He knocking on the door, he said, baby, you okay? I said in my sexy voice, oh, <laughs> I finally got this shit on, pulled it down and wiped the whelps away. I looked myself in the mirror and I said, bitch, go get him. I did not know that was the last little bit of air I had. <laughs> because if you ever had a course in the push your titties up to meet your double chin, the shit was real. I was standing real strong, back straight, in the doorway looking like the Terminator. <laughs> I'm the gingerbread bitch. <laughs> he looking at me, he said, baby, where you get that from? You looking good, mm, talk to me. And I thought I was, but I was just making a noise and it kind of sound like a dolphin or some shit. He said, baby, you looking good. Where you get that from? Talk to me. I said, it was literally all <laughs> <laughs> He was like, what the fuck? He was like, what? what? And I tried to explain to him in my dolphin voice. I was like, <laughs> I was trying to tell him what the fuck happened. And then he got real stupid and got turned on and was like, oh shit, we role playing. This nigga here. So now he running around the room talking about, hey matey, I'm the crocodile hunter, you're the dolphin. And my dumb ass, cause I'm nasty, I was like, shit was real. <laughs> we in there kissing and touching, everything is great. He ran his hand down my side and something said zip. The candles said, the music said, I'm on the floor, y'all, like, he said, what the fuck is wrong with you? I said, he said, what is wrong with you? I said, you mean to tell me that that shit had a zipper the whole goddamn time? That's been my time. My name's Camille Spilletto. Y'all have a great evening. Keep it going for Stiletto. Come on. Keep it going. There's a lot of stuff up here. Y'all get it? Y'all got it? Y'all good? Yeah. She was talking about side chicks. Anybody here ever been a side chick? Anybody? Come on, you can be honest. You family. Yeah, okay, there's a whole side full of side chicks right now. Because your macaroni, cheese, greens, or yams. Yo, it was some over here, some over here. Okay, you, okay. You you was or you still in? Oh, you winning that bitch! You winning! I'm gonna dap you up when I get over there. No, cause she was talking about like when, when the comedians get up here, like I listen, like I listen, I take all of this. She was talking about the sides and all that shit. And I was like, damn, I think I've been a side chick before. If I was a side, which side would I be? I wasn't none of the sides she named. Like, I was the fucking coleslaw. Your headliner man, he's awesome. I haven't had him here in two years, but he he been on a. Uh, Deaf Comedy Jam, Shaq All-Star, Comic Food. He does the Housewives, the Benning Road. He's awesome. I need y'all to show him some big love. Make it sound like we're in a arena. Give him a respect that you. So hype right now, so hype right now, so hype right now. Give it up for my guy, Tony Bjorn, Mike Brown! Yeah. 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 What's up, what's up? Make some noise. Clap your hands. Clap your hands over here. Shit, make some noise. It's a late night. It's a late night. It's the late thing. Go on, cut it off, cut it off. What's up, y'all? Make some noise, y'all. Make some noise. In the motherfucker. Give it up for all the comedians that was up here, y'all. We had a marathon tonight, but we having fun. Fuck that. Down here in the motherfucking basement. We're gonna hurry up to finish this shit before they come home, man. This this a nice little. For all the single people, make some noise. With the single people, make some noise. If you're in a relationship, make some noise. Some of the same people clapping the fuck is going on tonight. I don't know where they at. He bought me a drink. I guess we go together. I don't care if I. I can... How you doing, baby girl? You single? Sitting up here by yourself? All y'all ladies look good out here. Damn. Got your hair done? That's important, lady. Get your hair done in hairstyles. You know your hair can fit in. Don't fuck all that in your hair. Seriously, I'm tired of seeing the ponytails way up here. You ever see this shit? Look like a little ass paintbrush sitting on top of your motherfucking head. Head pulled back so tight. She can't even close her eyes. Eyes wide the fuck open. She mess around, blank, whole ponytail, just unravel. <laughs> Rubber band, pop, forehead, bleeding, baby hair fall out. Take your head to the beauty supply. You can buy any kind of hair at the beauty supply. 
You got my underarm here. The beauty. Let me get a one inch bush ball, jet black. One B. Can I get a one B underarm? One B. The fuck you talking about a one B. This nigga's just gonna bootleg right in your face. This motherfucker got the boost bubble right here. This nigga, I'm gonna get all this shit right here. <laughs> Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Nigga, you gonna miss the show, nigga. You trying to. Oh, you okay? You do... Oh, you working the cameras too and your cell phone. This nigga's gonna edit everything. I thought he had the motherfucking professional camera. He gonna put that shit on pause and then run down here with the motherfucking phone. <laughs> Real shit they doing down here. DJ, what's going on with you, player? What's happening? You ain't got no old school shit? I want to come up with some old, I like, how many of y'all like old school shit? Back in the day music. Shit, we used to record off the radio. Remember that shit? Remember that baby? Back in the day, you be recording shit on the radio, motherfucker start talking. Working with 92 Q. God damn, I'm wearing my shit back. You fucking my song up. Man. Fuck wrong with you. Like the old school shit. Coming all the way from the other side of town to come out Baltimore. I like coming out here, man. I just don't fuck with child police. These niggas petty as shit. Pull your over, ask you dumb shit. Why you kept speeding up? Cause you kept catching up. Fuck wrong with you, man. You, you ever been driving and fuck around, forget to put your seatbelt on and see the police? You try to hurry up and do it to get stuck, so you just hold it? You're like, fuck, I'm gonna hold this motherfucker till I get home. I ain't going down tonight. Fuck this. Next 15 minutes, think I'm gonna be just like this. Fuck you. <laughs> police petty as shit. You can't afford for nothing to be wrong with your car. Your ass going to fuck down. My back blanket don't work. My house is right there. What fuck police got behind? I couldn't even turn. I just got, got on 95, kept straight, went to Kings of Man. I'm like, fuck these niggas, man. Drove a whole nother hour and a half fucking with this nigga. <laughs> Petty as shit. I hate these niggas driving around with these old police cars scaring the fuck out of you. You think it's the police, they ride past you smoking a blunt. What's up, cuz? I should fuck you up, nigga. Drove five miles an hour for the last 30 minutes fucking with you. Cause he had the little light on the side. You ever see the little light on the side? That nigga, that'll fuck your whole day up. Petty ass motherfucker, man. A lot of shit I hate. I hate talking to people's stinky ass breath because they always want to tell you something up close. Can I holler at you a minute? Can you write it down? Go on, write it down, nigga. You ain't, you ain't got to walk over here, nigga. Fuck. You ever asked my breath smoke so bad you couldn't even look at her face to face? You had to talk to her from the side? I don't know, last time I was down there, though. Listen, back up a little bit. Man, God damn. You ever asked my breath smell so bad it made you forget what you was about to say? We was at the club last night. Guess who was down there? Who? Lost my damn train of thought for me. What the fuck am I even out here for? I don't even. You last might whisper something in your ear and you don't smell it till later on that night when you lay down. Like, fuck, somebody done died over that motherfucker. I'm gonna sleep in the hallway. Fuck that. Damn, this out here too. Stinky ass, breath ass nigga. Huh? Mm. One thing all in your motherfucking face. The block is hot. The block is hot. Stab your motherfucking ass, man. That's real shit. Oh my God. Hate being around people that snore. People, yeah, why is it the people that snore always fall asleep first? You ever notice that shit? You always hit a nigga way in another room upstairs. <laughs> you ever see the people that sleep real hard and wake up and answer you like you asked them something? Huh? Nobody say shit to you. Fuck you tomorrow, huh? Go lay down. You ever see them fat, greedy motherfucker wake up chewing? <laughs> Over there dreaming about cupcakes and Kit Kats and shit. Go to sleep. You ain't got no damn food in your mouth. If I wake up just just ah, ah. People that I'm tell you, people that snore. I'm gonna tell you the fuck. The people that scare me are the ones with sleep apnea. That's the motherfucker that just died for like a couple minutes. You ever seen a motherfucker with the snore cut off and mid snore? Motherfucker. <laughs> you start looking at their chest to make sure it's still moving and shit. Hey, fuck, I'm about to leave this motherfucker. <laughs> Right before you get to the door, pick back up. That's how they wake up and scare the shit out of me. Nigga, you was dead for a couple of minutes. Fuck is wrong with you? How many of y'all got raggedy cars? Anybody got a raggedy car? Know somebody with a raggedy ass car? Any of y'all ever had a car so raggedy you gave somebody a jump that your car wouldn't stop? They drive off your ass to stand there. How the fuck am I gonna get home? I get some. I gave this nigga a jump. This nigga just gonna leave. This. We don't know shit about cars. We all do the same thing when a car breaks down, don't we? Pop the hood and just look at it. You don't do shit to it. Slam the hood and go back and try to start it up like you did something. Damn car still won't start. I don't know what's wrong with it now. Slam the hood, but the motherfucker won't. 
<laughs> Only part that black people know about they cause the alternator. That damn alternator and gave out on my You have a flat tire, that motherfucker alternator pulled the air out of my gun. I just got an alternator earlier today. Gotta get enough for an alternator. What the fuck I'm gonna get home? Ragged <laughs> ass motherfucker cars and shit. What the fuck going on out here? Shit need to stop. It's hot out here. Lot of, ladies, I see a lot of y'all with the little open toe sandals. Shit! Some of y'all need to wear Timberlands year long. All y'all don't have pretty feet. I saw one girl, baby toe longer than all the other feet. All the other motherfuckers tell you, it's your shit nice. Don't, y'all, you gotta hide them. It's your nice. You got a nail on your baby toe. Some women don't have nails on their baby toe. They still put polish on it. You ever see that shit? Be a little black scab with red paint on the tip. Like, fuck is that a ladybug? What's wrong with your feet? Don't do that. Don't do that. Hide your motherfucker. And take care of the whole fucking foot. Don't just polish the shit and keep the part that people can see. Don't do the whole motherfucking jump. In front of your feet all polished all nice. In the back of your shit ashy as shit. Like you got a fucking cast on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that was a long day. What the right it is. With nice little, nice little couples in here, everybody sitting down together and shit. I like that though, I like that little date night shit right there. That, that's cute, that's cute. How long y'all been together? <laughs> What's going on, eh? I'm really just looking like that at the movie theater and shit, eh? What the fuck is going on that year? Y'all <laughs> Hello? Hello? Huh? Oh, y'all on the door some cute shit. They on the date. Give it up for that. Fuck that. He's still trying to find out what's up and shit. I know how. That's it. That's a little bit When you out on the date and shit, you want to know if you want to get something and shit later on. That's a weird motherfucking feeling. Because you know, I hate that shit. You take a girl out and you spend all your fucking money on that shit. Then she start throwing hints on the way home that it ain't going to be nothing to happen. You in the car, first thing she do. <sighs> I just hope I'm not about to come on. <laughs> we'll see. Shit, fuck that. No, cause see, sometimes they think they slick. See, it don't even be that time of the month. They'll put a pad on anyway, just so you guys won't check. But a nigga like me, I'm like, whatever, pull it out. Let me see, pull it out. I don't see nothing on it. You gotta lay down. Go on, lay down. This gonna be all right. I ain't gonna be that long. Go on, lay down. Whatever. You gonna get me. Fuck that. Pull that motherfucker pad out and look at it, play. I'm telling you. <laughs> Women be doing that petty shit. <laughs> Fellas, you ever take a girl out to eat and she ordered something that cost so much you couldn't get what you really wanted? Where just come around and you be talking about, yeah, let me go get some more of that bread. Bring some more of that bread out. Ah, right, give me a little bit of that bread. I love that Outback bread. That Outback and Red Lobster biscuit, shit. I can eat that all day. Fuck everything else. Yeah, give me that bread, smell. <laughs> I hate going to little dirty ass restaurants. I had one girl come to my table, taking, trying to take my order, doing her fingers like this. It can only be one motherfucking thing in your hand when you're rolling it like this. Come on, what you getting? I'm about to get the fuck up out of here. Fuck you rolling the book in my fucking face for? Fuck is wrong with you? You ever try to plug a book off your finger and keep getting stuck to the finger you plug it with? That's that little wet one that you gotta roll up real good. That motherfucker's too uppity to hear from me, y'all. Ain't nothing like that little wet book. I mean, y'all ladies out here trying to meet these no good men by round of applause. That's too bad. Shit ain't gonna change. That was just asking. Y'all proud now. Always trying to upgrade. Always thinking the grass is green on the other side. That shit is spray painted. Stay where your ass at. Ain't no leaving me. We go together, we go together. I had one girl gonna try to break up with me, talking about Mike, I think I wanna see other people. You better look at the photo album. We're gonna ride this one out. This gonna be all right. Stop crying. Go lay down. This gonna be all right. Go lay down. This is it. <laughs> ladies, I'm saying sure you got some crazy niggas that's out there like that, ladies, though, for real. Would not let your ass leave them. I knew one girl had to fake her own funeral just to leave a nigga. This nigga showed up at the funeral. Shirley, come on, get your ass about it. Nigga. Come on, time to go, man. She got up too. I can't. Oh my God, this driving me the fuck off. I'm sitting here laying down and you just want to get me out the motherfucking cat. It's crazy out here. Motherfucking cell phones. Everybody got the cell phones all on the table and shit. 
You can't get nobody the wrong number no more, man. Remember right. back in the day? Remember back in the day when you had to write the number down? Go get a pen. Go get a pen. You wrote that motherfucking number. They won't even know they had the wrong number until later on that night. Right. Right. Shit. You can't get nobody the wrong You don't try to get somebody the wrong number and they hit you with this. This is me calling right now. Yeah, yeah, is your phone ringing? It's, it should be. Yeah, it should be ringing. This is me going in there. Like, damn, you just gonna call me from the club? <laughs> Y'all look a little happy. How long y'all been together? <laughs> got the arm cross and shit. Like y'all mad at each other. What the fuck is going on? I study body language. I, no, sir. I study body language. So I can tell a lot of stuff. It's a lot of shit she's been trying to tell you, but you take shit the wrong way. I could be, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. How long y'all been together? Seven years off and on, give it up for that. Well, for that. As long as it's back on, shit, that's all that matters. Fuck all that. You ain't even had to put that off and on, shit. He mad as a motherfucker now. Seven years is seven years, though. Yeah. You ain't had to say off and on. He mad as shit now. He done bought you a drink. Stay together, though. Fuck that. Don't let nobody break your shit up. That's right. You ain't going nowhere either. Shit, stay. Talking about his side. You gotta stay there, too. There's a couple of people out here, man, shit. There's a lot of, I'm looking at y'all, some of y'all look happy, but y'all don't even know this y'all last date. A lot of this shit about to break up. It is. Oh, boy, we gonna stay together like that. So enjoy the night. Y'all right there, y'all, yeah, y'all happy too, y'all. It's on a, yeah. Y'all got about two, three more months. Nah, y'all happy, y'all happy. I, I see, that's love right there. He still got the arm going across and everything. He want them stuck. That motherfucker ain't gonna let your ass go. Fuck that. And, am I lying? Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. Motherfucker, I'm sitting on your lap. Fuck you talking about bathroom shit, huh? Ain't gonna know motherfucker. How long y'all been together? Two years? You love her? Tell her. That nigga said the death. Oh, nigga, this real. You don't hear that shit no more. The motherfucker just say yes or no. This nigga said to death. That's a crazy motherfucker right there, nigga. Don't. Don't even look at, don't, none of y'all niggas better not look at her. They, they go on about your business now. She with me. <laughs> Two years, where y'all meet? At your sister house? Why was he over there? <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of this shit. <laughs> I'm just fucking. <laughs> fuck around, start an argument tonight, nigga. These motherfuckers be swerving on 295 tonight, fucking with me. <laughs> I'm here just having fun, man. How many of y'all got tattoos out here? Anybody got tattoos? Y'all be careful before you get, go get the next one. Shit can fuck your whole life up. I'm telling you, because everybody said they got a meaning behind their tattoos and shit. Everybody claim that. I fuck my whole, my boy got three tattoos early today. Fuck this whole life up, man, already. Three of them at one time. Got a tattoo of his best friend, his boy that he grew up with. Got a picture of him on the side of his motherfucking chest. And got a tattoo of his newborn baby in the middle and a tattoo of his girlfriend on the other side. Come to find out his girl messed with his boy and that's their baby. This motherfucker got somebody else's family on his chest. This nigga just... Whole motherfucker life just gone. Shit is real out here. DJ, what's it, Twizzy? Twiz? Twi but you got the you got another Z and you got the Y on it. Is this Twiz? Twizzy. Okay. Right. <laughs> I just like to ask questions. I, I don't, you don't pick me on my <laughs> Y'all give it up for Tiana, y'all man. Bring this shit to y'all man. Every month, every other month, doing it big. I love y'all. Hey Tiana. They said I could come back. I want y'all to bring me back, man. I'm, yeah, I don't want... <laughs> what happened? Huh? I don't even want to leave, though. You ever just didn't want to leave because you know it wasn't nothing else to do when you leave? Right. I don't even want to... I don't want to go nowhere in the big bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to fuck too far. I did. Yeah. Fuck that man out of heaven. Huh? Yeah. Keep going. Y'all money done expired. I'm on. Hey. Hey. Hey, Tiana.
this some good shit you doing, man. Keep doing. Y'all make make sure y'all support Tiana. What